Beginning in Victoria, BC, 29-year-old Chris Cull is on a journey of a lifetime. I rode from Victoria, BC across the whole Trans-Canada Highway to Sudbury, Ontario, where I currently am. Cull has been cycling since May to raise awareness and capture stories about prescription drug abuse across the country. When these drugs are, are, are created for essentially like terminally ill cancer patients and, and so stuff of that nature, and then you're prescribing it out for people with like minor back pains and stuff like that, are you creating a bigger potential for addiction by doing that? Like, I don't claim to have the answers to the problem. I just want to create the dialogue to it. By cycling across the nation, Cull has not only spread awareness, he has also met and interviewed people that have made him reflect on his own life and lessons learned. I interviewed a woman named Sharon in Calgary who um, lost her son to, uh, to, I believe, an Oxycontin overdose uh, 17, yeah, 17 months ago. In, when she was telling me about her her experience and 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 going through that all with her with her son and and all it sounded a lot like a, a lot very similar to my own experience but i never really kind of had that talk with my own mother or the other women who were the mother figures in my life who who went through that all with me and wrote it out and then i go once i got that perspective it was like damn you're like you you really hurt people like and you, it was really a it was emotionally taxing to a degree where, where I, I felt really, really bad about, about my actions and stuff like that. And, but and that's one of the things that I, I've actually I've liked about all the interviews I've done is because I, I always reflect on my own actions based on those interviews. So you do a lot of things that you never thought you were capable of. And I have really no problem admitting that, even though it is embarrassing personally, if people will learn from it. Call plans on finishing filming and reaching St. John's, Newfoundland by September. Him and his two-man crew will then work on releasing their documentary. I like to put it out to film festivals uh, all over the world to, because uh, I find as many people as you can see it and can touch who are going through the very similar issue and maybe, maybe hopefully provide some answers to these people that, that are really confused and lost. If that could help even one person, one family, then hey, it was it, it was a success to me. You can continue to follow Chris Call's amazing journey online at inspirebyexample.ca. For NorthernLife.ca, I'm Malika Viegas.